Yes, this question is on expression. So, why is it an expression? There is no equality sign there. Now, and uh, we are still asked to complete the square of this expression. Do we handle this the same way we handle the equation? The answer is no. Why? Because there is no equality sign here. If you want to move anything to the other side, do we even have other side here? We only have one side. So that is why you can't handle this the way you handle equation. Now, in this thing, the simple way to do this, this question, is to bracket these first two terms. This will give us 3x squared plus 4x in bracket minus 5. Bracket the first two terms. Now, I want the coefficient of x squared to be unity, as in to be 1. As in to be 1. So that means I have to bring out this 3. So that means we will have 3 bracket x squared plus. Now, because 3 is not common to both sides, Whatever we have brought out here, we have to divide it by the 4. So that means uh, we have to divide for, uh, we have to divide the 4 by it. Why are we doing that? Because at the end of the day, if you open this bracket, 3 times x squared will still give you 3x squared. 3 times 4 over 3x will still give you the negative 4. Because 3 will cancel 3. So that it won't be as if we have changed. The previous expression it will be as if we have changed the question so then we still have minus 5 here now this expression inside the bracket is what we are going to write as a perfect square we write it as a perfect square so from there we simplify the remaining things so from here we have 3 brackets x squared plus 4 over 3 x now the expression we are going to add something and subtract it and what is that thing the coefficient of x half of it and the square of it so just like we do in equation but it's just that we don't have two sides here it will, it will not work the way it will not work for this the way it work for equation now first of all what is the coefficient of x that is 4 over 3 half of it that is we multiply it by half that's one over two this will give me so in short we can reduce this two year one two year two so we are going to have two over three then the next thing is to square it we square it two over three all squared that will give me what four over nine so it is four over nine that we are adding and subtracting to the expression inside the bracket we we'll add 4 over 9 minus 4 over 9 minus 5 now why did we do this because at the end of the day this will cancel out so it's more like rewriting this so nothing has changed what we added we have subtracted it so that it won't be as if you have changed the question that is why we have to add and subtract so from here we have to bring this out so we will now leave this expression from x squared to 4 over 9 should be left in the bracket because that will give us our complete perfect square x squared plus 4 over 3x plus 4 over 9 put it in bracket what we have here is a perfect square but this is going to be brought out of the bracket and don't forget that this 3 affects everything this 3 is multiplying this, multiplying this, multiplying this, multiplying this. Now, let's say this 3 has multiplied everything here to this place. That's what we have here. But we still have to let it affect this one that we are taking out also. That means we have a copy this sign minus this 3 times 4 over 9. And don't forget we have minus 5 outside the 4. So, we have to simplify this 3 here and 3 here, 3. So from here, we are going to have 3 bracket x squared plus 4 over 3x plus 4 over 9. Now, what do we have left? We have 4 over 3 minus 4 over 3 minus 5. So 
what we have here is a perfect square this is a perfect square the way we have done before right uh, what do how do we know what expands to get this the perfect square that led to this what is the perfect square that led to this perfect expression linear expression that led to this so take the square root of this take the square root of the last term and put the sign in between so we have three be equal to three brackets square root of x is x square root of four over nine is two over three okay two over three square root of x is x square root of four over nine is two over three and the square root of four is two the square root of nine is three so what will be the sign in between just copy the sign that is here and this time around we have plus then we square it now from here we have minus we we'll take the lcm of what we have here minus 4 over 3 minus 5 so we move from here this is a complete this is a perfect square we have 3 bracket x plus 2 over 3 squared the lcm here will be the lcm here is going to be uh, 3 so from here how many 3 you can leave neglect the sign first because this this you can neglect the sign because negative at times is somehow proving difficult to handle so now minus 3 how many 3 in 3 we have 1 1 times minus 4 we have minus 4 minus again how many 1 in 3 3 3 times 15 that's minus 3 times 5 that's minus 15 so we move so let's simplify what we have on top I have 3 bracket x plus 2 over 3 all squared minus 4 minus 15 that will give me minus 19 over 3 so what we just arrive at is a complete perfect square that's what we are required to solve thank you very much for viewing this